we have unlocked ultimate power of destruction it is known as the slash all command what this command simply does is give us everything in the game yes everything so when i simply do something like this we oh get all these God. materials we get a lot of things added to our inventory even a bunch of cursed and blessed scroll let me show you boom five blessed and five cursed scrolls along with uh, many others but this power we're going to be enchanting every one of our weapons with either a curse or blessed scroll with this we'll be owning the strongest inventory in the entire game first however we must get to upgrading the rest of our weapons so let's go do that we do have a bunch of upgraded nice. weapons already it kind of looks like we need to upgrade 15 more swords and nine more guns eight more guns or something like that thanks to the slash all command we don't need to farm all the materials we can simply just upgrade them right here well, let's do that real quick all right we've now upgraded all our weapons i mean not weapons but our guns pretty sick i can't wait to enchant them now let's do the swords We've now finished upgrading all of our swords. Every one of them has a star on them, meaning we upgraded them. Even our triple dark blade, we already upgraded this a little bit ago. Also, what do you guys think about my drip? This is my little outfit I got going on right now. Let me know what y'all think. I think it looks pretty sick. <laughs> Anyways, it's time. We're gonna be going on our free gotcha journey of building the strongest inventory in the game. <laughs> Maybe even Zeolos can't stand a chance against this unless he also upgrades his inventory. But he, will, he wouldn't do that, of course, right? All right, we're here at our favorite NPC, the Dragon Talon Sage. How you doing, buddy? I'm going to be needing you to upgrade all of my swords. Don't wear out on me right now. Let us begin transforming our inventory. If we want the strongest inventory, we need to aim for curses or bless with a unique that is good for PvP. So we'll be re-rolling for ones if necessary. All right, let's start with the weaker ones. All right, re-roll. Let's do a blessed scroll. Come on now. Okay, right off the bat, we got a unique with it. Apply sea sickness to fruit user when attack lands. Effect scales with base damage. And then also strong grip. Damage skills with 40% of your melee stat and 60% of your sword stat. That is like part of the best katana in the game right now. Dual katana. This is gonna be even better. This time let's do a curse scroll. Let's see how this works. I know these tend to be more rare getting cursed. Oh, and we got a unique also with it. Okay, cool. Increase your speed upon dealing damage duration scales with base damage. Cool. Health regions cut in half. That is a curse. But you also heal by 70% of damage dealt reduced on NPCs. So basically when I go to attack somebody, I'm also healing from that. Okay. Wow. Next up, we got the cut list. We're just gonna interchange between the blessed and a curse scroll strong grip in storm okay that's not bad i'm not a big of a fan of the storm blessing right now only on guns really but it's not too bad when hook you know this is one of the swords that actually didn't get a uh, rework surprisingly but hopefully in the future update it does unreal okay what are 20 percent shorter but damage is decreased by 15 percent throws it applies slowness when attack lands affects scales with base damage that's pretty good and then we got two level threes against elemental users and natural users twin hooks that's actually pretty good for pvp that's actually not that bad right, triple katana let's do it it's actually kind of funny triple katana and twin hooks are in the same tier all right unbreakable oh i love this one. Oh, they actually nerfed it it used to be you can't be interrupted at all but now it's only for the first two seconds which is still pretty good if you know how to use it right and a crystal reaper same thing as before shark saw whoa oh no we got a level six but it's only to npcs oh that would have been actually pretty sick cooldowns are Unreal, Cursed Reaper. Is there only one curse? Because I've been only being Cursed Reaper. I might have to use Blessings instead, but who knows? There might be other ones. Cursed Reaper, of course. You know what? We're going to re-roll that one because that one we didn't get a unique on. Cursed Reaper. Okay. Okay. Beast level four. So we do 12% more damage against like Falcon users, Dragon users, Leopard users, Mammoth. That's pretty good. That's really handy if Warden was a better PvP sword, but you know. Masterpiece. Skills have no cost. Damage dealt is increased by 5% and cooldown is reduced by Eight. that sounds really good oh and we got burning so we got the like the little dragon talent burning enchant on it next up we got trident oh we actually got one blessed scroll left masterpiece and burning that was the same thing as last time literally all right you know what we need more so we're gonna do slash all and boom we got more scrolls all right let's keep upgrading our arsenal i'm really curious there has to be another like a different type of curse i'm pretty sure i've seen other curses but maybe it just wasn't added we got unreal curse of the reaper again we get two more curse of the reapers i'm gonna just assume they're all the same because i need actually good weapons if i want to be the strongest oh i wouldn't even get unique okay 
that's actually pretty good but we got it again we're going to be using blessed scrolls instead because curse scrolls are just not up our alley right now and we blessed scrolls seem to be more focused towards pvp so that's what we're going to use it for okay unbreakable and storm nice deadly that's like eight percent more damage towards players that's a good weapon and it, the reram is really good too look at that at. look at that unreal and storm that's like exactly what we got last time you know we're gonna speed run some of these let's do it oh okay i just remember about the speed run but like hold on we just got deadly level five the max level on this thing increases damage dealt to players by 10 percent rage increases your speed upon dealing damage seed uh sickness oh my that's actually pretty good if we got on a better weapon that'd be like the insane weapon all right let's just keep going i guess nice unbreakable and frozen again we got the c1 okay with unbreakable that's pretty good oh and vampiric level three on tashida it's actually a really good weapon kill 10 percent damage dealt that is not bad at all here's the thing with spiky trident i like this but we need it to be the best so we're gonna keep rolling because i main spiky trident with my combo my one shot combo that i usually have so we're gonna keep trying till we get a really good one that i'm happy with okay i will take this i will actually take this deadly level four which is eight percent more damage to players level three piercing ignores 80 percent of defensive buffs from items fruit and races that means if the fishman uses his passive or his little race ability we pierce through 18 percent of that and then sharp of one that's nothing and we got the unique and c blessing i'm happy with this all right i'm gonna keep that now let's go back to speed running through these ones okay burning and unbreakable pretty good All right, a level one agility reduces cooldowns by 6%. Deadly level two, uh, 4% more damage to players. Sharp, all right, siphon, okay. Not bad for Rengoku. All right, all that we got left is the mythical swords. I already have enchants on some of them, but we're gonna be rolling them until I got something crazy on them. So I main these weapons except hollow scythe. Okay, this is pretty good. Burning, Masterpiece, Lucky, Fortune, Level 3, Deadly, Level 3, Agility. That's really good. I'm happy with that. Next up, Curse, Coop, Dual Katana. Okay, Level 3, Efficient. We don't really need that. This is really good against uh, Dragon User. Beast, Level 3. This already does more damage against Dragon User, I'm pretty sure. So imagine against like 9% more damage against the Beast User, aka Dragon. Then we got Rage and Burning. That's sick. Okay, next up, we got Dark Blade, regular Dark Blade. whoa okay so dark blade seems to be my elemental weapon level five elemental increases 15 percent more damage against elemental users like flame light ice all that that's pretty good and level two piercing plus unreal and frozen that's really good hollow scythe let's go, let's go. hey yo why did it take so long to get a decent op enchant on this thing okay beast level two increases damage dealt to beast users by six percent his damage dealt to elemental users by three percent fortune level one increases money drops on npcs by 15 percent natural level four increases damage dealt to natural users by 12 percent and then we got also rage and frozen that's pretty good so so far we got in like three weapons that are really good for different types of fruit users uh, i think this one was for beast users uh the crystal katanas true super katana for elemental Mental? No, that was Dark Blade. And then Hollow Scythe for natural users. Finally, we're moving on with the Triple Dark Blade, giving it the best enchant in the game possible. Hey, yo. Okay. You know what? I'm taking this. I got this pretty quickly. Reduces cooldowns by 9%. Uh, more damage to elemental users and more damage to natural users. So it's pretty versatile. And it has Unbreakable, which is one of my favorite uniques. And Sea Sickness, because why not? That is sick. All right. So this is what every enchant on every or different weapons look like. So this is a Sea Sickness blessing on uh, Triple Dark Blade. It's got like a blue fog to it. Pretty cool. Next up, I believe this is the frozen one. It's got a little icy, misty looking, frosty effect to it. Next, we got the burning one the best one in my my opinion here on the cursed dual katana pretty sick oh and then we got the lightning one uh yep that's what it looks like this one actually looks pretty nice and finally we got the cursed one this is my favorite too bad it kind of stinks
works in my opinion um but it is the rarest it is the hardest to get it has a coolest looking effect but yeah that's what it looks like and of course we cannot forget to upgrade our guns now let's get through these really quickly a slingshot with a crazy enchant could you imagine it hey yo this is actually kind of a really good enchant for a refined flintlock this is gonna be carrying me through those raids Finally, we have the soul guitar. This is what we applied our original, our very first blessing on, but we're gonna replace it with something I like, and that is gonna be something with a unique and a blessing. So let's do that. Okay, hold on. We need something a little bit better than that. Okay, I'll take this. Level six or level three deadly with unbreakable and frozen. That's actually pretty good. At last, we've managed to create the strongest inventory in block shoots as of right now will anyone else rise to the podium to test the might of my arsenal feel free to dig your own grave also i've been expanding my crew we're going to be taking these seas once this crew has filled up to the brim with all these strong pvp gears of 30 million bounty we're going to be fighting for the number one position replacing cypher pole replacing l crazy we're going to be doing our best but beware for the dragon talent company so brace yourselves as always thank you for watching farewell bye 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 bye